And throughout history, we have seen different ways of industrializing the murder of poor people. And this is the quintessential example of the industrialization of the murder of poor people. In terms of more contemporary issues, you know, the selling of 3.3 billion, the last, the last data indicated 3.3 billion worth of military hardware to the Saudis. Since the beginning of the intervention in Yemen, which you have 80% of the population essentially on the brink of starvation, you have over 14 million people because of the naval and air blockade without access to um, clean water, you have, you know, a very ancient civilization, Hadramaut, and it is considered the home of Qahtan uh, Adnan. This has great uh, significance uh, for the history of uh, Arabic-speaking people. Essentially, is being destroyed really in a, um, a campaign which is targeting civilians, which is bombing hospitals, bombing schools, use of double tap, whereby one strike is made and then the ambulance arrives and they are also struck. And you know, Philip Hammond at the beginning of the campaign, he said, uh, we will do everything with the exception of taking part in combat ourselves to support um, Saudi efforts in Yemen. You know, 22 of the 30 biggest human rights violators, according to the British government, that is are supplied with weaponry by the British, by BAE systems. Now, often the argument used is that cooperation with these governments um, keeps people here safe in terms of intelligence relationships. The truth of the matter is that uh, this government is servile to corporate interests and it is those sales you know, that number one leads to a situation where you have the Saudis having more British made planes than the British themselves, where you have the Saudis using cluster bombs, which were manufactured by the British in the 80s, despite them being outlawed in 2008, and you have the chairman of the BAE systems refusing, refusing to say whether the planes have been adapted in order for that cluster bomb usage. This equation is about the buttressing of the arms industry, which, as I said before, is subsidized, subsidized by the British taxpayer. Now, the idea that is being put forth by this government and has been put forth by most of the options that we've had politically have been that security is intimately and connected in an umbilical way to the building up of defense. Now, we have a choice to use this technology to focus on forms of renewable energy, which is something that the human species may rely on in years to come, will rely on, rather than submitting uh, environmental policies to fossil fuel companies. We must find not only more just ways to exist with each other and with other inhabitants of the world, but moreover, and more importantly, more just and sustainable ways to exist with nature. This is what I would uh, call for from any forthcoming government. But also, I again would implore anyone watching this to partake in acts of civil disobedience, acts of direct action, to disrupt this industry which is causing such pain. And one of them, one of those ways of causing disruption to this industry would be by voting on the 8th of June. We have to answer to that brutality, you know, and I think it's a more obligation to disrupt in this industry. Um, in any and every way we can.